We all heard it before, there is a new diabetes treatment or a cool diabetes technology, but we will have to wait for years to get it. But Tom, why can't we have it now? Well, in most cases, the new cool thing is still going through clinical trials. But what are clinical trials and why do we have to wait for it to be over? This book talks about clinical trials on 600 pages. I will try to summarize that in 5 or 6 minutes. Let's go! Financial support for this video was provided by Vertex Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. Clinical trials are research studies that use human participants, so people like you or me. And during these studies, researchers try out new testing methods methods, vaccines, medical devices and treatments and they evaluate if they are safe and effective. All companies in the world try new products before launching them on the market. They want to make sure that the products work, that people like them and they don't cause any harm to consumers. It's no different in the diabetes space. In fact, when we talk about clinical trials and new diabetes technologies and treatments, we're in a heavily regulated industry with a ton of oversight. That's why it usually takes years or even decades before a new technology or treatment reaches those living with diabetes. Fun fact, did you know that you can participate in the science and testing of new treatments by participating in a clinical trial? That's right! I'll put a link down below to the JDRF website, where you can find information about clinical trials that are currently ongoing and looking for participants. If you find a clinical trial that you could potentially qualify for, talk about it with your healthcare professional, because you might be able to help out. Clinical trials are not only a tool for testing and developing developing new treatments. They also allow scientists and governments to determine if each treatment is effective, safe and ensure that they won't cause any harm to patients resulting from potential side effects. By the time your doctor prescribes a certain medical device or certain drug to you, you can be sure that it's been approved and that it's safe because it's been through the clinical trial process. The obvious downside of the extensive regulation is that we often have to wait a very long time before we can access life-changing treatments. Here is how it works. Each clinical trial relies on human participants to gather data and test new treatment or technology. These trials might might use both healthy participants as well as the participants who have the disease that the treatment may treat. In general, phase 1 of each clinical trial uses just a small number of volunteers to evaluate the safety of the drug or treatment, how it should be administered and any side effects it might cause. Phase 2 includes more volunteers who have the condition that the device or treatment was designed to treat. During this phase, researchers evaluate if the new thing really works and if it's safe to use on a bigger sample of of participants. Researchers also study the right dosage and sometimes they use placebo or control groups to make sure the treatments are effective. Phase 3 includes a larger group of participants than phase 1 and then phase 2. It is the final phase before researchers submit their findings to the regulatory bodies for the final approval. The focus in phase 3 is on providing even more data to prove that the treatment or device is safe and effective for the population it is studied for. During phase 3 researchers may also compare compare the new product to existing treatments. The goal of each clinical trial at the end of phase 3 is to present all the information gathered to the regulatory bodies to get their approval. By the way, only 12% of medicines that go through clinical trials get the approval at the end. 88% fail the high standards for safety and simply are not efficient enough to replace the currently available treatments. Now that the new treatment is deemed safe and effective, the regulatory body can grant the approval and the companies can launch the new product. The reality is that clinical trials may help people who have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Everything from the devices we use to test our blood glucose to the medications we take have gone through a clinical trial. Thanks to clinical trials we can be sure that every drug, every medical device we use have been extensively tested before we get the prescription from our doctor. And I want to give credit to all the researchers and participants in the clinical trials. The work they do is extremely hard and important. The volunteers may have to deal with unexpected side effects and extra trips to hospitals as the researchers are just learning about the new treatment they are exploring. But the great thing is that due to extensive regulations and experienced qualified professionals working on clinical trials, these are conducted safely, ethically and they serve to improve lives of people living with diabetes. But it doesn't end there. The researchers often continue to evaluate results in patients of different ages, backgrounds and health complications. These additional clinical studies gather additional information about the product's safety, 
efficacy or optimal use. And of course, each phase of a clinical trial may take a year or even longer to conclude. But I think it's worth the wait. When I look to the future, I'm a strong believer that all these ongoing clinical trials are getting us closer and closer to the cure for diabetes. And while we still have to wait, the clinical trials are an important tool that helps us move forward. Ciao!